Hello students, welcome back. In this video, in short, I am revising the center of mass topic. So, let us start it. Uh, center of mass, ok. In this chapter, mainly we learn two topics. One is about the finding the position of the center of mass and one is related with what motion of the center of mass means we have to find the velocity and acceleration of the center of mass, ok. So, first what is center of mass? Center of mass is a point where the whole mass of a body or some number of body is supposed to be what concentrated. So, it is a point where mass of one body or n number of bodies you have two body, 10 body, 100 body the whole mass of this whole body is supposed to be concentrated that point is called what center of the mass. Then we have learned many properties of center of mass like cent at center of mass may be inside the body, outside the body uh, at center of mass may, there may be really mass or no mass. Then uh, we learned that center of mass is always towards the heavier side of the body. Suppose you talk like I say this is your earth and this is your, your moon. Then they ask that where the center of mass of this earth and moon system combined lies together. Then they can say at the midpoint or close to the moon or close to the earth. So, what is the answer of this question? It will be close to the earth. Center of mass is always towards what? Close to what? Heavier part, right? Yes. Okay. So, when we talk numerically, we have seen a formula. First point we learned here is what? Position of the center of mass. We have to calculate the position of center of mass of any system right now. Okay. So, when we talk here, we first we talk first question what were like uh, point masses or discrete masses. Okay. We calculate the center of the mass of the uh, point masses right. So, how we write the formula for point masses say okay, point masses. So, first we calculate the center of mass of point masses for that we have a simple formula that that the position of center of mass is given by m1 x1 plus m2 x2 or you write general formula as r1 r2 right now let us write rcm. So, r2 it goes on by what m1 plus m2 like that right yes. So, you can find x coordinate by putting x value like m1 x1 m2 x2 then you find y coordinate by putting value m1 y2 m1 m2 y2 by total mass like it goes on right. For point masses write directly this formula you have one point mass two point mass or n number of point masses it goes on like that way right yes ok. In point masses this same question, same question can be asked in vector form right yes. So, same formula you can write vector form also like RCM vector will be equal to what m1 r1 vector plus m2 r2 vector like this type of question can be also asked yes. So, no big problem just you put in vector form your answer come in vector form or you can put magnitude at the end right. Then you see that generally this point masses question they ask now some question they, they can give direct like 2 kg is placed at this coordinate 5 kg is placed at that coordinate find the position of center of mass. But in general they ask like they give some pictorial form they said 3 masses are placed at the tri uh, like 3 masses placed at the uh, 3 corners of a triangle or a square any some rectangle these type of questions generally they ask. So, what we do in this type of questions? We have to choose a coordinate system right now. We choose a coordinate system then write the coordinate of all masses with respect to the origin then we apply the same formula. Suppose this three masses are given to you you choose coordinate system you can choose anywhere like you choose it here then this you call 0 0 then write coordinate of this mass then coordinate of this mass then you write this formula you find the co x coordinate then you find y coordinate then you find g coordinate by the same formula right. right. So, how you choose the coordinate system? What is important here that the center of mass or position of the center of mass is not affected by your coordinate system. So, coordinate system you can choose anywhere actually ok it does not matter. But how we choose we choose always like that way that at least one mass is placed at the origin itself. So, that calculations become what easier. So, what is the main property that center of mass is not uh, affected by what your position of the center of mass is not affected by your coordinate system where you choose coordinate ok. So, you can choose anywhere, but always you try to choose that at least one mass is placed at the origin itself. So, that calculations becomes easy like in this case you can choose coordinate system here you can choose here itself you can choose here itself your choice anywhere you can choose coordinate system your answer will be same only ok the position of the center of mass will be same. But we always choose like at least one mass is placed at the origin itself. So, calculations become easier. Same way 4 mass are placed here you can choose coordinate system here anywhere you can choose you can choose here itself right. Yes always try to choose on that that side. So, that uh, we get always uh, easier calculations ok and at least one mass is placed at the origin itself ok. Yes ok. So, first question was like this point masses direct question can be given in vector form can be given or like this type of triangle given rectangle given ok you choose a coordinate system and write this formula find x coordinate find y coordinate if g they asking find the g coordinate also right ok same formula ok. Then when you move on then we see second type of question where they ask integration problem. So, they ask continuous body or 
say like continuous bodies. Here we have to do what? Integration we have to do in this type of equation. Okay? Here irregular bodies are given where we have to do what? Integration. So, same formula we write in terms of integration. How we write? RCM will be integration of what? R okay, whatever dm by integration of what? dm. This formula we write, right? So, I gave example of like road. Here what generally what happens? No? How to solve this type of type, type, uh, integration type of problem? Always you have to replace this thing dm you have to replace you have to bring in what small dx format. So, what you do suppose the road is given means uh, like a linear objects are given like road given then you write density always like mass by length you write small mass by small element dx and you replace what dm always if either density will be given so write dm is lambda into dx or not given then write in terms of mass and length. So, like dm becomes what mass by length into dx that value you put what here. Suppose they talk like um, two dimension object like square seats and these things okay yes plain object then you write what uh, like a surface density concept okay aerial density. So, you write what mass of area of that object. So, you write like small mass by what small area like that way. If they are talking about 3D object like a cube or like a sphere this type of thing okay then write what volumetric density talk mass by volume you write like dm by what dv. So, always you doing this you choose a small element and always this dm that you would replace always like linear like this word aerial this word what volumetric okay. Yes, either density will be given or we write in terms of these things right mass by volume mass by area mass by length okay depends upon what type of object is this linear or aerial or what volumetric type of object okay one dimension this is also called one dimension two dimension or what three dimension okay yes. Then when we move next on this we see third type of problems where composite bodies will be given to you composite bodies. So, composite bodies will be that some regular bodies whose center of mass we know if you have a regular body a uniform body a symmetrical body then the center of mass is simply a middle point like you talk I say I have a disc then this is center of mass you ring you have or you have a sphere then this is center of mass right this already we know or you have a, like a rod you say that is a center of mass middle point is simply center of mass means center of gravity is simply center of the mass right or also called geometric center also right. So, this is simply middle point. So, composite body means two three bodies will be given who I was individual center of mass we know like they say that this there is a disc given then there is a square plate is given right they are asking that uh, what is the combined center of mass of the system. So, again what we do first you locate individual center of mass like this is a disc. So, this is individual center of mass of this this is a square seat this is individual center of mass. Now, forget these bodies okay you write here choose a coordinate system anywhere like you choosing coordinate system here this becomes 0 0 write the coordinate of that point and write now same formula, but here what will happen we need to do the masses of this because the formula masses become bad correct. For so, uh, we need to put mass of this body like this we call m1 this m2 this masses will not be given to you generally they gives what like radius and side they give like this uh, this they are talking then talk about they talk they will give what radius and uh, like a square sheet or rectangular sheet then they will talk dimension like length and what uh, width all this thing. So, what you do this mass you write in terms of what area because for a two dimensional body like this one square sheet and laminas mass will be proportional to what area. So, in this formula what you can do directly suppose you want to find the center of mass of these two system combined. So, you write formula like this one the RCM will be like instead of mass you can write like area A1 X1 or R1 whatever A2 R2 by A1 plus A2 like this you can write same formula you can write in terms of mass because mass will be proportional to what area of this body. So, this you write for two dimensional bodies okay? like a disc like a square sheet rectangular sheet these type of objects you can write this formula. So, what you do you choose the center of mass you locate first individual center of mass of these bodies okay? then you choose a coordinate system and always choose a coordinate system that at least one mass is placed at the center of mass itself right means at the origin itself. So, you locate the write the coordinate like this one some will be coordinate this is suppose r given that something will be given and write the same formula in terms of what area. So, area of this body like pi r square area of the body is what a square you put it here you will get your answer. This is type of what composite body right like those type of question like h and this type also can ask like they said three roads are arranged in form of h or letter e right now then they ask that what is the uh, coordinate of center of mass for this they will give that where we choosing origin ok. Suppose they choose origin at this point like this origin right then individual center of mass of this rod will be here individual center of mass rod this rod will be here that rod will be here. Now, you just write coordinate with respect to that point and write the same formula ok you will get your answer ok. This is the third type of question we have done then fourth type of question we have this truncated body cutting of a body right now. 
one part of body is cut and removed then we have to find what is the new position of the center of mass suppose like a big disc was given or some radius and mass will be given then small part of this is cut and removed then you know center of mass will shift in that direction because center of mass is always towards heavier side right okay so you have to calculate the very center of mass what is the new position of center of mass this you have to calculate so in this question what we do same formula how you write in this form like your okay mass m1 is your complete body first always you find like we choose that suppose initially before cutting your center of mass was here middle point it's a uniform body so say means uh, it's like a geometrical center will be simply the center of the mass so this point was the center of mass we write coordinate 0 0 right yes then you cut this body then center of mass is shifting that side so how we answer this same formula only just we also call this like uh, like i gave this a name here i call negative mass concept the strengthened body what i said negative mass concept means the body the part which is cut and removed this part we call that negative in that formula that's all so suppose m1 is the mass of the complete body and m2 is the mass of this body which is cut and removed then this is formula how you write same formula right like this way that, that RCM will be simply M1 X1 right minus M2 X2 upon M1 minus M2 that part which is cut and removed we call just that what negative mass okay so you can put here negative value so what will happen always here mass of any one part will be given like bigger part is given then you have to find mass of the second part by writing like mass proportional to what area or mass proportional volume with the 3d object like a square this um, uh, disc is given which is what a plane lamina two dimension right then mass proportional will be area so you can write like mass of the first object by mass of this this part is equal to what area of the first object by area of second object you calculate mass like this or indirectly in this formula itself you can write like area form like you wrote here same formula you can write like this one a1 x1 minus a2 x2 upon a1 minus what a2 means area of the big the whole complete disc then area of the removed disc this a2 we calling right now radius generally we know so directly you can write we don't no need to calculate mass in that case right but it's with 3d object given then you calculate mass because the mass will propose to what volume in that case so here instead of area you have to write volume v1 v2 like they say a, um, a spear was there and small spear which is cut and removed this is 3d so here you become volume concept will come in, okay yes okay then what you do same thing you choose coordinate here 0 you write coordinate of this individual mass this okay center of mass of this removed disc will be here center of mass of complete disc will be here so you write coordinate and you get your answer okay okay so this is a four type question fifth type question i don't like some uh, symmetrical bodies so these values you have to remember directly because this answer we get from integration so i told you eight object like this one which are symmetrical object and we have to remember the initial directly. many example i gave like here like um, we have done like hollow sphere and then we done like solid sphere right hollow sphere solid sphere half ring half disc okay sector okay and like this type of eight example i gave to you in which this position of center of mass directly you have to remember so these were the five type of questions based on what position of the center of mass okay yes then second topic was here what the motion of the center of mass second major topic was motion of the center of mass motion means we have here we have to calculate the velocity and the, and the acceleration of the center of mass so two things we have to calculate what velocity of center of mass right and acceleration of what center of mass so how we write this same formula like we have found uh, the, this is the position of the center of mass smaller right exactly how you write velocity you say velocity of center of mass will be simply you write like a uh, like your velo uh, velocity of first mass right into what oh, right like this one m1 v1 plus m2 v2 it goes on right by m1 plus m2 right right so mass of the first uh, piece into what velocity of that it goes on right so m1 v1 m2 m2 you can write total this is velocity of the center of mass okay yes also you can also write like mv is what momentum so if you don't know the m and mass and velocity directly momentum is given momentum of first, first object is p1 second is what p2 then you can also write that p1 plus p2 plus it goes on by what m1 plus m2 right now like this we also can write same question can be asked in vector form because velocity is a vector same question can be asked in vector form like uh, here they have asked in vector form so we wrote in vector form same exactly here so v c m vector will be just m1 v1 vector plus m2 v2 vector it goes on right m1 or same also can be momentum also can be given in vector form because momentum also vector quantity so p1 vector plus p2 vector right scalar or bo vector both form can be asked to you correct exactly same way they will ask you acceleration so acceleration acm is what like m1 a1 right m1 a1 
Okay, I am writing the angle vector form m1, m2, a2, it goes on, right? By what total mass m1, m2, right? So, in scalar format or vector format, both are possible. Then you know that m is what nothing but force. So, you can write f1 plus f2, you can also write like this way by m. So, instead of giving like mass and acceleration, they can give force. Force experienced by first object is this one, second object this one and find the acceleration of center of mass. So, f1, f2 total forces you can add by what total mass that gives the acceleration of the center of mass, okay. These are direct questions on these, right. But main question they ask here, most important question is what? This that we write a principle here that the motion of the center of mass is not affected by what? Internal forces. That was the most important concept that motion of center of mass is not affected by what? Internal forces. If an internal force is acting and something is happening in object or between masses due to what internal force is, then the position of the center of mass will not be, sorry, motion of the center of mass will not be affected, means its position, its velocity and its acceleration will not change. Like best example is what your gravitational force. Two objects are placed, then they are moving towards each other because of our gravitational attraction. Correct? Right? Then what will happen? The position of the center of mass, the velocity of the center of mass and acceleration of center of mass will not be affected. Suppose two masses were initially at rest. Okay. So, initial velocity of both pieces is what? 0. So, velocity of center of mass also becomes 0 because m1, b1, 0, 0, it becomes 0. Now, they started moving because of a gravitational attraction which is an internal force. right? Now. So, the velocity again remains, even they are moving, the velocity of center of mass will be 0, acceleration of center of mass will be 0 and position will not change. So, if you write this formula, the RCM will put what? 0 like, it will not change. So, uh, this question like uh, how they ask question here suppose I am saying these are two masses were there m1 m2. So, and initially they, they are at rest. Now, they are moving towards each other because of gravitational attraction which is an internal force right now. So, these three things will not change position, velocity and what acceleration right. So, initially they are rest velocity of center of mass was rest means 0 acceleration was 0 and position was somewhere here let us say center of mass was here choose that coordinate 0 0. Then what they can ask you that what is the distance moved by this object or that object before the what collide right. So, what you do you write that formula this is your coordinate system. So, write like m 1 x 1 so distance of this suppose initial distance given l given. So, so, suppose uh, that m 1 moves x distance before they collide and this will move what obviously l minus x distance right. But when they are moving like this one due to gravitational attraction, the position of center of mass will not change and center of mass we calling what origin suppose here, okay. Then they will ask you how much distance moved by this mass or that mass before they collide. So, what you do write like m1 distance moved will be minus x that distance calling x because we choose coordinate system here. So, that side distance is called negative. So, that we put minus x be careful, okay m2 and this will be what l minus x by m1 plus m2 it will be equal to what 0. Because when position of center of mass not changing, we directly put it what 0. Now, we can find your x value from this, right. And this question is very, very important because if you remember, I gave few example. Three problems are very popular for us. One is called what like man and bot problem, right. This problem we have done. Then we did like man and plank problem. Then we did like a, uh, like block and waste problem, right. When there is one internal system is there, like then center of mass will not be affected because if no external force was acting there. So, when you talk man and bot, they said there is a bot right and a man is what sitting here ok. So, now this man doing something like he walk and goes to other end or he walks and come to center right. Then what will happen the position of the center of mass, velocity of center of mass and acceleration of center of mass will not be affected, they remains what same only. So, initially they were rest, they remains at rest. I said the initial center of mass was at this point. Suppose you write coordinate here 0, 0. When main walks in this direction, the boat will move like a little backward like that way, right now. So, they say how much boat moves by x amount. So, whatever happened, this main and boat are one system. So, your position of the center of mass will not be affected, your motion of center of mass will not be affected. So, what question they ask to here? Yeah, again, again, these three questions are exactly same main and boat, main and plank and what? Block and wave. So, let me write it little clearly. Suppose your boat was here and main was here. So, I am saying suppose initial center of mass was of these two main and boat was here, you call that 0, 0. Then what happens? When main moves in this direction, the boat will move little forward, boat will come like that way, right? When main comes here, right? So, they will ask you main question that what is the distance moved by the boat? Okay. First question simple, they will ask you that what is the new position of the center of mass or what is change in the position of the center of mass? Answer will be directly 0. 
because this main and bot are one internal system so they are doing this main is moving but they are one internal system so no external force acting so position motion of the center of mass will not be affected so i am saying that if they ask that what is the change or shift in the center of mass what is the answer directly zero then they will ask you what is the distance moved by the board x yes so x we can calculate because how you write we write formula like this one you choose your coordinate system here itself so you write like m1 is the mass of the board m2 is the mass of the person you say that m1 x1 x will be what negative again because you choosing coordinate system here that distance become negative so distance moved by the board becoming negative then m2 and how much distance moved by main with respect to that coordinate system main moves that much distance so suppose length of the boat is given l then he doesn't move l he moves what l minus x only correct na? suppose this boat doesn't move he moving up to that distance that's called l but with respect to that coordinate system he moving that much distance only l minus x you write here l minus x by m1 plus m2 is equal to directly zero now you can calculate what your x here same problem will be like wage and block they say this is a wage and block is placed here this is a mass m1 this is a mass m2 when the block slides down here the wage will move little backward so they will ask you again what is the distance moved by this wage again right so wage comes here and block comes over here so that's the distance moved by x by wage you choose coordinate system again here again write same exactly m1 distance moved will be negative x1 ne x negative and m2 x l minus x l will the length of this wage like l here so your block comes at what distance l minus x with respect to the coordinate system so same thing you write again equal to what zero same will be main and plank plank is here main standing here when main moves in this direction plank will move in that direction so how much that plank move x amount that we can we have to calculate exactly same procedure this question that question or that question right okay apart from okay four possible questions we have on all these three patterns what four possible like let's talk about board first question they will ask you what is shift in the center of the mass of the board answer is directly what zero right now yes center of mass position and motion will not be affected because there is no external force acting this is the first question second question they will ask you, what is the shift in the board yes this is the main question we have done like this we have to answer then uh, third question they can ask you about velocities like they said what's the velocity of the center of mass it will be what zero because initially they are rest all three equations they are rest so velocity of center of mass will be rest even now they are moving but velocity of center of mass will remain zero only correct right. fourth question velocity of any one is given other they can ask you like here they said if main start walking at this velocity or this main right what's the velocity of the boat yes that you can answer you write same this formula m1 b1 m2 b2 is equal to what zero because initially the main and plank were at rest so velocity of center of mass is zero now they have started moving still the velocity of center of mass will be zero because no external force acting so if any one's velocity is given like main velocity is given you can find v2 and v1 is given you can find v2 so how you write same formula like m1 v1 plus m2 v2 by m1 m2 is equal to what zero so you get like m1 v1 plus m2 v2 is equal to what zero now any one's velocity is given other velocity you can find so all three problem main and board main and plank uh, similar there will be maybe more questions right but see that if there are one internal system and something happening means your position and the motion of center of mass will not be affected so right like if they are asking related to position that distance moved right m1 x1 plus m2 x2 is directly equal to zero they are asking velocity and acceleration same way right m1 v1 plus m2 v2 is equal to what zero right yes if initially they were rest is zero if initially center of mass velocity of center of mass is given you can put that value here okay but that is generally not asked in neat exam so this is your complete revision about what your uh, center of the mass topic okay thank you so much for watching if you have any confusion any doubt please put your comment